Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use our Captivate 8 responsive templates. Um, this is our scenario template. And I've got one opened up here. And first thing I'm going to show you is how to um, program the buttons to jump to the appropriate slide. Following that, I'll show you how to add additional slides or remove slides. Um, show you how to update the text with your own content. And then last, I will show you how to change the colors and modify it to match your branding. All right, so to program the buttons, um, you'll notice right now, just by default, we have eight slides in this, this particular template. Um, assuming that you want to keep this very first one, I have two options here for this particular setup. You can go ahead and just click on the option one button and then go over to your properties panel. If it's not open, you'll just have to click this icon up here in the top right that says properties. And then you'll want to go to your Actions tab, and then you'll notice that on the Success here, you can program it to have different options here. By default, I think we just had it go to the next slide, is what it was for default. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it jump to slide, and then I can choose whichever slide in my project I want it to jump to. So for this particular example, I'm going to have it go to slide number three. And then I'm going to have option two, instead of go to the next slide, I'm going to say jump to slide, and I'm going to have it go to slide number two. So that way when the user clicks on one, it'll go to slide three, and when the user clicks on option two, it's going to go to slide two. And then I can go to those slides now, and I can say, all right, so if they do end up on slide two, when they click this continue button, I'm going to want them to jump to the next scenario. So they're not going to want to go to slide number three, because that was where option number one went. So I'm going to have them jump actually to slide number four. So I just go into here and you will jump to slide and choose number four. And I would just do that for the exact same thing for this next slide here because this was the option one when they come here. And we'll want that to go to jump to slide and also go to slide number four for this particular scenario. And then they go to this slide and we have two options again. And then we can just do the exact same process for that. So that's how you would update the buttons to navigate uh, where you'd want them to go within the scenario based on their kind of branching, um, wherever they branch to. All right, so if we want to add additional slides or remove slides, very simple to do. I'd recommend doing a copy or a duplicate. So we're going to do a duplicate, and it just makes a, a copy of that. And you can update your content here, remove buttons, or you know add to them, however you need to. If you just need a, another one that looks like this, same thing. Right click on the on the film strip mode on the thumbnail, click duplicate. Very simple to do this. And then you'd obviously just want to program your buttons to go to the appropriate spots. If you want to remove slides, same thing. You can right click on it and go delete. And let's delete that one. And very simple to add and remove slides. But just keep in mind, as you add those slides in, you'll just need to go and program those buttons to go to where you want them to go. Um, as you add, add those slides, you probably want to update different images also. These are just downloaded from the library, and these are just cut out images. So you can go get um, different poses of these same characters out in the library. Or if you have other images that you're using internally, you can just import those in also. Best way of doing that is, you know, I just delete this one. And then I'd go up to media and image and then just insert your own image in there. All right, next thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to add text to just update your text. Super simple. Just double click on it and type in your new text here. And same with the text down here, just double click on it. And you can remove it, very simple to do. If you're working from a storyboard already, you can just copy and paste, not a big deal. Content, text, and so forth. You can also add images in here and do whatever you need to do. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you how to do is um, just modifying the styles. Um, each one of the objects in here um, are all linked to one of the styles built in Captivate. Um, Captivate 7 released what they called their, uh, their styles, 
very similar to CSS if you're familiar with HTML code. Um, one style can be applied to everything in a project. So if I want to update this, this header here, I don't necessarily like the black or maybe my color, my company colors are red. I can come in here and I can modify, let's just say I want to change the from a, a gradient to a solid and then I want to go with a, you know, a, a darker red kind of look. Maybe I want the opacity to change a little and you know, if I wanted to add a stroke I could do that here also. If I want to even edit the text color there, I can just change that style maybe add in a little bit of a, a margin here to give it some padding and that kind of gave it some padding on the side here and once I get the style exactly how I like it if I want all my other slides to match um, I only need to do is to save my current style so this style is called top bar this little plus sign is added when that style has been modified and if it's been modified I can save those changes to existing style and I click that option You'll notice that the plus bars, the plus sign is going to go away, and then all my other slides have been updated to reflect that new style that we made. It's a pretty, pretty slick little feature that Cafe built in there. It makes life a lot easier when you have a lot of slides using similar elements. Same thing with our text background. Let's just do something kind of extreme here. Change it to blue. Maybe modify the stroke to a cool red, and let's just bump that up to six. And if we like that, we can come out here, save change to existing styles, and then all of my white content boxes now are going to be blue. So very simple to, to modify and uh, rebrand these. Let's go ahead and do the buttons. Same thing, I just come in here. Let's do some something kind of totally different here so that I can see the change. Oh, those, those are going to be really ugly, but I think you guys get the, uh, get the picture of what we're doing here. Um, with the buttons, since these are buttons, there is a normal, a down, and a rollover state. So you want to modify the style for each one of those. And then once you get it, go ahead and do save change to existing style. And then all the buttons should be updated now with that, that new style. So anyway, that's how you use our Catchway 8 responsive scenario templates. Um, it's how you add your content. Um, we're, we're programming our buttons, we're adding additional slides, taking slides away, and um, modifying our branding, our colors. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you, and uh, happy e-learning.